everybody and welcome back to my beauty channel today I am going to be doing a jewel makeup look it involves different colors bright colors and I've done my base again I've primed done everything um, so yeah that's what we're going to be doing I'm going to be using my vice palette from Urban Decay and my Inglot palette as well let's just get this show on the road so you will probably need a few brushes clean ones not dirty ones um i might use that one just grabbing a few brushes this one's already got a brush so we can do that. Um, I'm going to use a colour out of this palette and I'm going to use, I think that one's called Bones. So that's the colour I'm going to be using. Just with the, I think it's the blending side I'm going to use. And you just need to put it all over your lid. So, just going to put it all over my lid. Now, this these colours up the top are very shimmery, so they are quite shimmery. The ones down the bottom are a matte, so like a matte finish. Don't know how this looks going to go, but we're going to give it a burl. Once you've put the base colour down, then you can put all the other colours on. I'll just leave that there. Okay, so with a dual makeup look, there's greens, there's blues, and there's a dark blue. I'm going to use one of these um, brushes. And I'm going in with this colour here out of my Inglot palette. Tap the excess off so there is no I'm gonna layer it up with like different colours. So I'm putting the green in the crease and I'm just blending it out on the on this side here I'm just gonna move my mirror back okay so we've got the green in the in the crease always if you're a beginner you need tape um, so that you can um, judge um, where to put it um, because for a beginner it's a little bit daunting and you need some guidance so that you know where the colors stop and where they start so the so the tape actually gives you that guideline so that you know okay so if I need to go over the edge, the tape's just going to take it right off. And after when you finish um, using the tape, it'll give you that guide. So I'm just putting that in the... So I'm putting the green in the crease. And I'm just blending it out. Okay, so... I'm just tapping the excess off. This is a eye blender brush, so it's a good use anyway. Alright, so we've got the green. Thank you. 
and these colors are very easy to like wipe off as well So we're going to use the yellow and it's like a little bit of a rainbow effect. I'm using this brush that had the black on it but we'll make it work. And just tap off the excess. So the yellow is just in the middle of where the green is. All right. So we've got the green and the yellow happening. Now I'm going back in with the Vice palette because it does have a lot more depth and more um, color to it as well so I'm going in and these have got okay so I've got fastball which is this color here on a blending side So we're going to just layer it up. Okay. All right. So I'll use I'll use the the other color, but I'm going back in with the Inglot palette and I'm going to use I'm using this color here and then I'm going to use the pastel color after. So just swirl it on. And just with a gentle hand, just stippling it on. your eyeshadow brush to how much you want it so we'll just keep doing it otherwise <laughs> stippling it on it's actually working You guys can use um, two or three colors as much as you like. I'm actually using, I'm using most colors anyway. So we're going to go in with, I think there is a purple in this Vice palette. Yep, and we're using Beat Down. And I'm going to use it on the edges. And I might use it. On the 
outer edge, bring it up towards the green and have your brush on an angle so you can get the colour right. Okay, so we've got the beat down, and now for the edges, I'm going to use that colour there for the edges. So where the outer V is and where the green is, that's where you put it. And tap off the excess. So we're just going to put it on the outer V section. With a very, very light hand. Use another brush to blend the corners and, and entice it all in together. So I'm using a flat um, eyeshadow brush. Okay. I'm just using this. This is an eye blender brush by New by Nature. And I'm just going to blend all of it in together. This may work, it may not, but I'm going to give it a build. So I have a little bit of blue in it as well. Um, it's alright. I might use a little bit of blue just in the outer, in the inner corner of my eye. Drag it down for your lash line and going in with the pink. Going in with the green. It's alright if they overlap, it's good. Um, use the yellow to go on the outer colour. So I use that the pink out of the vice palette. So go back in with that. So we used fastball. Drag it under then I'm just going to um, blend it with this blender brush 
by new by nature and I'm just going to So now you've got like this pastel eye look that looks really, um, really vibrant, but it's not like it's all patchy. So it's just really subtle look. And the more colors you put on, the more um, better it will look. So I'll just put that back up. See that, that this color here, this one here, it entices everything together. So, make it look a little bit more um, wearable. We'll put some eyeliner and I'll put some blush too. And this is the jewel makeup look it's actually um, in one of my makeup books as well um, so yeah it's really something okay so the eyeliner we've got like purples we've got pinks we've got greens from Chi Chi. Um, so this one is Caribbean Queen. This one is, I think it's Beauty School Dropout. Uh, we've also got the NYX liners as well. Oh, we've got Trooper Black, which would be probably too black. I've got my red. And I've got the NYX um, Vivid Brights, Blossom and Florence. So I could do that or I could use those. But actually, I want to test one of them out. No. Okay. It's just not going to work. Because they're crayons, they do tend to... Mm. I'll start off with a very thin line of the um, Kat Von D. So the the um, the Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner has got like a felt tip on the end. No matter which way you um, hold it, it gives you that guide so that you're not like stroking it backwards and forwards, which is a very good. Is a very good thing as well. Because this is 
where the tape comes comes in handy so that you can do like a um, a wing. The more the more thicker you do it, or the more thinner you do it. better off you will be. I'll just put a little bit of this, the um, NYX eyeliner on the edge. And you need concentration with the process. I'm just going to wipe this amount off. Gotta keep doing it. Wait for it to dry. Okay, it didn't go that far. So we need a little bit of concentration just so that you have a thinner line. Now we'll go back in with the and the NYX eyeliner is really good too because it doesn't dry out. Same with the Kat Von D. The more you put on, the more difficult it is to get off. But this one actually dries very quickly. And of course it went into my eyelashes. All good. So we're going to go back in with the blossom and fix this eye up. So it matches. in with the Kat Von D okay 
Now I'm learning the game with this. This eyeshadow brush. Going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, which I do have. And I'm going to just double check this is all. Alright, so we need the mirror upright and I'm going to angle that down just a little bit. Now let's make it worse than what it was. I'll move some of the eyeshadows out of the way. Just dragging this dragging this forward might make it a little bit better. Wait for that to dry, give it 20, 20 minutes, it'll dry within a second. The eyeliner, the Kat Von D eyeliner, okay, we've got that all organised. anywhere you like. It won't stay up. Oh, there we go. Now we'll move you back a little bit. So I've got it. There we go. Both of them have got nice wings and everything. Um, I'm going to put a bit of the Mega Volume L'Oreal Paris 24 hour. Alright, so we'll just do this. While it does its magic. Once I'm sort of done with this, then I will put my highlighting go kit on. The more fibres you have, the more um, your eyelashes are stronger. And I will use a spoolie brush to comb the excess out. So, this is what it looks like. The spoolie brush has like little pigments on it. And what goes on your eyelashes makes your eyelashes stronger. A good friend of mine um, bought it for me to test out and it's been my holy grail. And I'll use my spoolie brush in a second. I just want to coat my lashes. Alright, so you've got the Mega Volume Mascara. I used the Vice palette from Urban Decay 
and then my Ingot palette, my NYX eyeliner, and the Kat Von D. Now I've got to use my spoolie brush, which is right here. So there'll be like little fallouts. That's okay. They um they do tend to fall into my eyes. And it does hurt, like the pigments really hurt. to unclump oops here we go So with the um, mascara, it's not like your normal mascara. It coats your eyelashes, but it is a different formula. And these little pigment bits don't want to come off. Just got my little spoolie brush and I am impressed how my lashes are. By the way, guys, these are my natural lashes too, so you don't always have to have fake eyelashes and them just a little bit more just wind it up not wind don't just yank it out see this is how they look So I'm just putting them on the bottom lashes. And I'll wait for that to dry. Pardon me. Just trying to fix the this side here. So I think we having very much success, guys. All right, well, we're gonna have to do it my way, or the highway. You wanna get them all on there. Get the spoolie brush. Right, and I'm just gonna go damn. Okay, that's that done. Now I'm going to use my highlighter, use my NARS Instant Cheek Palette just to give it a bit more of a uh, dimension. Use that brush for the... Where did I put my other brushes? That's that one. There's my fluffy brush. 
There we go, there's my contouring brush. So I'm going in with this colour here. Warming up the hairline. I'm going to use this on oh, my cheeks. Just to warm up my nose area too. So it's looking a little bit um, deflated. So you've got the, you've got two colours, so one's a lighter and the other one's a darker. The darker colour is to like brighten your cheek complexion area. So I'm just going to blend it all in. You don't need like tons of it, otherwise it will look quite muddy. So we're done with that and try and keep my hair out get as close to your hairline as possible and I'm just blending out the colors And because it's a powder form too, it's easier to blend with a correct brush. You don't want to be spending hours and hours on your contour and it looks muddy or looks wrong. So you... I think it's because I've had the everyday finishing powder from Bodyography. I'll just chuck a little bit on. On the apples of my cheek. You can use any finishing powder that you have at home. I have just, I've got this one here which is the everyday finishing powder from Bodyography came with my kit a little eyelash on my cheeks right. so now we're going to get my other powder brush I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Kit And you've got Blue Moon, we have Purple Horseshoe, Lucky Lover, it's actually Lucky Clover, Star, Blue Ice, Pink Heart. And we're going in with the theme of the purples and I'm just going to mix all of them. And by using it on your cheekbone, so just above here is where you want to put it and above the above where my above where your um, eyeshadow is is where you want to put So I'm just going to put a little bit more on my nose I'm using Purple Horseshoe, Blue Moon I 
um, on your cubic bow. And you can put as much colour as you like. And I might put a little bit of the um, Hourglass Infusion. It's the Ambient Infusion. And I might use, I'm just going to use this brush here. Just to give it a, a little bit of a dimension. So all these colours make it work. And with all the with all the colours and all the um, everywhere, I'm going to use a lip liner, which this is Disco Diva. I have the Shanaxo palette, which has got the lips side, or I could use one of my Beverly Hills um, liquid lipstick, but I prefer to use the So, I'm just using this, the my mirror, Just over drawing my lips. So that is Disco Diva by Chi Chi. And now we're going to use the lip side. And this is from the Shan Exo palette, which has got the lips. And this is the Shush! Shush! I'm using this color, that color there, to um, to go with this. makeup look and because it's a uh, um, because these colors they dry really quickly and because I'm using a lip brush it's much easier to apply it So that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, jewel makeup look. If you really, if you really like this makeup look, and you want um, to recreate it yourself, um, you can um, tag me in it as well. And 
So this is what it looks like. Um, the lipstick is from the Shenexo palette. Um, this is really good. Uh, highlighter is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Um, and the eyeliner is the NYX eyeliner and the Kat Von D Tattoo eyeliner. Eyeshadows are from the Vice palette, Inglot palette, and my contour is from the NARS Instant Cheek palette. And I've got a little bit of the Hourglass Diffusion, a bit of the Bodyography Everyday Finishing Powder, and my Lashes are from the L'Oreal Paris Mega Volume um, Collagen. And this is what it looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Request your um, answers down the bottom and turn my bell icon so you never um, miss my videos. And I'll chat to you guys next time.